So we've been talking about affordability issues in Austin all week long. People aren't just struggling with finding a place to live, though. Many don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yeah, but a group of students at St. Edwards University is working to end food insecurity in Austin. KVU's Thunby Varma shows us how. This is Lauren and her daughter. Lauren is a single mother who's been waiting for food stamps since January. She's also a full-time college student. For now, she eats one meal a day. Fully fueling my body is not something that I can afford to do at this time because I try to make sure that I'm providing for my child instead. Her daughter is her whole life, and she hates that she has to say no to her when it comes to buying snacks. I went grocery shopping two weeks ago, I think two or three weeks ago for the first time in a month and a half. Lauren is far from alone. The Civic Lab reports that about 15% of Austin residents are food insecure. There are over 30 different areas of our city that we identified in our research that have significant barriers to accessing healthy food. In these areas, a third of its population lives at least half a mile away from a grocery store. I mean, when we're talking about food and secure areas, we're obviously talking about um, east of 35. We're talking about mostly low income minority neighborhoods that are affected by this. Many are affected, those who you wouldn't even think. You know, your friends, people that you wouldn't think would need help with food can be food insecure. So much prosperity in our city. We also have a tremendous amount of inequality and barriers, um, income barriers, and there's income segregation here. For KVU News, I'm Thunvi Verma. If you or someone you know is facing food insecurity, we do have resources to help at KVU.com.